Hello, in this video let's try to find the uh, shortest path between two vertexes in a digraph. And uh, uh, here we change the gear instead of build from scratch, we use existing libraries. And uh, the library should provide a uh, dice choice shortest paths uh, algorithm to solve this problem. And uh, there are many uh, existing libraries to solve the graph algorithm problem. One is called uh, JGraphT. I go to the site and the GitHub. This is a free Java project. And if we check the readme um, in order to use uh, this library, or we need is add this as a dependency in a Maven project. And uh, so let's first build a Maven project. Again, go to Google and uh, say Maven in five minutes. And uh, Apache make Maven really easy. Uh, install Maven is also easy. You, you just have to download the uh, code and put it into your path. So I already added Maven into my path. Uh, this is my bash RC. You see, I download Maven here, add it to the path. That's all I need to uh, to have Maven. And uh, this is a version. So next, I need to build a empty project as a starting point. And uh, I just uh, take the default, call my artifact my app. I didn't change it. Okay, <coughs> the Maven uh, now builds a um, structure for me. Let me check. Uh, my app is a, is a one CD, my app. Okay, if I run the MVN clean package, uh, I just build this project. So now if I go to Eclipse, I can import it. File. Uh, import and existing Maven projects. I browse my app, open, finish. So this is a Maven project I just uh, uh, built, and uh, it's have just the one class Hello World. Let's run it. Make sure we touch it. So it's a hello world. Now we have it. Uh, let's go to the poem. Um, open with text editor. And you see, uh, we already have a dependency. We need to act the actual dependency for JGraphT. Dependency. Dependency. Okay, so uh, as GitHub says, this is all we need to include in the library into our project. Okay, save it. Now let's uh, add a, a hello world type JGraphT and uh, uh, this site already have some code, so let's go to uh, JGraphT uh, demo. Okay, uh, the demo and uh, uh, hello JGraphT. Copy this code and back here. A uh, graph T. Copy the code. And um, uh, let's go to Maven to build it. And we can in package. Ah, it's complaining. Uh, Diamond is operator is not supported. Okay, it's have to do with uh, compiler. 
So let's go to compiler 1.5 while it's using that. So this is not a good, let's remove it. We want a, a library and use a default library, which is 1.8. This is what I want and uh, apply. And uh, I want to compile uh, compliance level 1.8. Okay, yes. Now it's happy. Uh, it's run the program, run as Java application, and now it's created. Um, it runs the libraries uh, set. Uh, let's now let's try to solve the Dijkstra's shortest path algorithm. Here we first need to create a uh, digraph. So let's create a direct uh, default directed graph created create digraph instead of a uh, graph we want a directed graph and uh, that's it now with a digraph we can create an algorithm so let's go back here uh, the F uh, digraph equal. Now we have a digraph. Uh, if we came here, dice draws, shortest to pass. Um, dice draw, shortest pass. Import. Okay. Uh, DP equal new. Dice draw short as the path. DG. Now we have the shortest pass. Now uh, we can say uh, get a pass, source and sync. Source we can say we won. Sync we can say we four. And uh, let's get Agonist and a for uh, get a stream for each system out print line. Okay, let's run it. As you see from uh, vertex one, we came two, three, four, and uh, if we put a short card here, directly from edge one to four, our shortest uh, pass should uh, change. It should take the short uh, short card, right? And if we put the short card at the different uh, vertexes, and uh, the shortest pass change from two to four, so that's uh, that's choice shortest uh, pass algorithm. We created with digraph and using the library jgraph t.